Hello everybody, welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are still on Te Awaroa, still in the search of our voluptuous diamond red deer. So as promised, I did do a little bit of research for the red deer on this map and turns out they just go everywhere. The most popular places for red deer to go in terms of drinking time on Te Awaroa are as follows. Very obviously these two lakes, this lake, these lakes that we haven't explored yet, this lake, this lake and these lakes very obviously this lake and this little stretch of river here now we've already got the zones for this part of the river we have not explored what's on the other side of the bridge there so i think that's the first thing we're gonna do um but first if you'll notice it is 9 54 a.m they stop drinking at 10 so let's reset the time and we're gonna go check out what's across the bridge Ooh, so on our trek, we are within now, uh, within 600 yards, and I come across that guy. And I realize now that I've shot him with the wrong gun. Goats are, yep, as you can see, class 3. And I shot him with 308, which means he's going to die pretty fast. And I shot him with the wrong caliber, so his score is going to be impacted. Um, that's pretty embarrassing. Now, there is a chance that we can make up for this because there's a 3, but... I think the chance is very slim. Oh, um, that's actually pretty convenient. Well, I was going to say that knocking out such a big goat so early was probably a really bad omen <laughs> for the start of the session. Um, but it's clear to me that we, we, uh, we molly whopped that second goat. So I guess that works. Um, our first goat. Yep. I didn't hit him vitally and I used the wrong caliber. He would have been no, wait a second. He wouldn't have even been a gold. I am too damn tired and it is way too early in the session to be bitching about scores and difficulty types. But can we all agree that if an animal is not even going to make gold, it shouldn't have the difficulty of four? Like at the very, like at best, he is a very, very, very high silver. Point blank period. That's the way he should have been. That's the what that, that's what that's what God intended. I don't know. Maybe it was uh maybe it was for the best that we fucked this guy up because his score was just ass. Anywho, we're not gonna bitch about it anymore. What's done is done. We can't take it back. 157.08 from 81. Gonna round that up 82 yards away. Thank you for your sacrifice, my guy. Um, ironically, I think this guy's gonna be a little more valuable. 133.31 so he wasn't as valuable as the last one very obviously um but at least we hit him with the right caliber and if we wanted to we could take him home because his score is completely valid because he was on the run um i did end up hitting him a little far back but i did shoot two out of three of his most vital organs the only one that really could have made a difference is if i would have hit heart but not from that distance not while he was running um, not with this caliber and definitely not with that shot placement. Now, if I'd had a little more puncture there, maybe if it had been like a, not really a polymer tip, but a hollow point or a soft point, soft tip, um, I would have gotten a little more penetration and I could have tickled his heart, but I really doubt it. Anyway, we're not going to sit and cry over spilled milk for very long because we've still got some red deer to hunt. So 133.31 from 43 yards away. Thanks for your sacrifice, my guy. Let's get down here to our waypoint. Okay, so as we're inching towards 450 yards, we can already see antlers from here. Astonishing. Um, what isn't astonishing is the fact that out of all this space that they could utilize, you know what I mean? There could be so many different size red deer and quantity red deer here. And so far, all I'm seeing are pip squeaks. Not to sound ungrateful or anything, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that we're not a football field's length away. I'm just kind of appalled that out of all the antlers that I'm looking at right now, none of them are memorable or remarkable or revolutionary. They're all just so small and plain and ordinary. And that's unfortunate because the red deer can be so big and beautiful, and it looks like they're just not spawning in with the potential that they could possibly have the potential that I personally have seen them spawn with. Anyway, let's stop being a crybaby and let's actually assess the situation here. We've got a level five medium. We've got another level five medium. The first five has a max of 126. The second one has a max of 174. We've got a six over there with a max of 190. Another five with a max of 186. There's another one I'm pretty sure over there with them behind them somewhere. 
no, it's just those two to his left. And this one has a max of 148. He is a five. So five, 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 six. Actually, I'd better not judge based off of level. Um, whoa, that's a really big, weird looking goat. Holy shit. Oh, and there's more red deer down here. Man, never mind. This this area is like the gift that keeps on giving, kind of. Now, those guys over there are 400 yards away. I'm pretty sure these guys are leaving, unfortunately. I'd like to take a closer look at all of them, considering that one is huge. That one's just as huge, just about. And this is fine. They can walk away for now. I'm sure we'll see them again. I'm focused on what's at hand here. So, so far, I know we're like forever away but i can see a six with a max of 208 um a four with a max of 122 a six with a max of 197 a five with a max of 148 and if i can get just barely right there behind him come on there we go uh four with a max of 130 so we're kind of dealing with the same kind of uh same kind of variance here we might actually get a chance to take more than one here and if that's the case, I'm going to do it. Go broadside, please. Go broadside or something. That'll work. Oh, I don't think I hit him vitally. Oh, I did. Cool. And the red deer over there. Yep. Non-existent, unaffected. All right. First red deer of the day. Let's take a look. 155.35. Um, I actually tickled his heart there. Um, I'm actually surprised. So this is the angle I shot from. So I impaled the humerus, it looks like, and it went right into the right lung. Um, just barely, just barely skinned the heart there. Um, I'm thinking maybe if it didn't hit bone, then it would have sank a little deeper and went into the other lung, and he would have went down really fast regardless. Either way, for a shot that's quartering this way, that's not bad. It's very clean. I'm, I'm proud of that. I mean, he's a crab claw variant level six red deer. There's not really much else left to say. There's no real variance on the uh, on the antlers here, unless you count his two eyebrow tines here. 155.35 from 116 yards away. Thank you for your sacrifice. Let's see. Oh, never mind. He's over here. Anyway, red deer number two. Let's take a look. 143.94. Man, that is when you compare it to like silver minimum. That's. That's ungood. <laughs> so I shot up way too high because when I pulled the trigger, he was crouching down like he was going to run. He looks like actually he's bouncing away. This is kind of neat. I want to picture that. The point was to try and nail a genuine heart shot and he crouched down really quickly and I nailed him right through the lung. It did make me think that I messed up the shot, but I'm really glad I didn't. So our quick kill bonus, 78.33%. He didn't die as fast as I would have liked him to, but that's fine because we still hit him vitally and the cash speaks for itself. We got just over 1400 bucks for this one deer loan. 143.94, very pitiful, but at least his antlers have more variance than the last one that we shot. That's really interesting. 143.94 from 123 yards away. Thank you for your sacrifice, gentlemen. Let's go take a look finally at this herd across the way. I mean, that's a perfect broadside shot. That one right there and that one right there. Perfect broadside shots. And I can take, I can take both of them. I want to take the biggest first just because he's the biggest. And then we'll go for this guy here. So that guy's going to die and oh my God, he's going to die faster. Oh no, they went at the same time. Cool. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is how you build up your zones. Oh my god, the pressure from the first one blended in. It was too close. That zone's gone. I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm so pissed, dude. I'm so pissed. That's so unfair. That is so unfair. Please tell me, please tell me that the farther down I go here, there's going to be at least one more zone and I can make up for that. Please. I want at least two zones here. No, there's nothing There's nothing over here to indicate that the red deer have a zone that far back. Um, I guess I just fucked up the zone. I just, I just blew up a zone, a fresh zone. And I mean, sure, I'm screaming, yelling, hollering, pissing, shitting, crying, throwing up. As if I'm not gonna fucking uncover more new zones as I go this session, but... Like, come on. It's always disappointing when you're trying to grind and then you blow up a zone for the animal that you're grinding for because that's one less zone that you can come to. One less zone that you can rely on. God, how many fucking zones has that made since this grind started that I've destroyed? Like, four? Anyway, let's pick up our, our goddamn old big boy here. Let's celebrate him. 
He didn't even make gold. He didn't even make gold. But he's barely over 170, so hooray. Man, that's about as even a shot as you're going to get right there. That is, that's, that's what shot placement means. From 208 yards, I hit this guy square in the ribs, through one lung, directly into another. That shot is sickening. It's improved my mood a little bit to see that I can hit shots like this to the point of... Like, if I keep hitting my shots like this, I'll have less to bitch about, you know? Think of it that way. 170.33 is disappointing because I absolutely expected him to at least hit above gold. I mean, look at these antlers. From, you, from the distance, these things look ginormous. 170.33 from 208.95, round that up 210 yards. Thank you for your sacrifice, my guy. All right, red deer number four. 120.82, oh my God. That is pitiful. <laughs> That's awful. And the shot was way too far up. Way too far up. But it was at such a soft spot, I guess, in the lungs, the very front of the lungs. Like, it's so small that it penetrated through that little little gap there into the, into the other lungs seamlessly. So he was able to go down efficiently, at least. I got a 100% quick kill bonus. It's a, it's a valid double lung puncture. But it was still way too far up for my liking. Way too far up. Now, as disappointing enough as it is to see level six crab claws, um, it's even more disappointing to see five medium uh, crab claws because you, we've seen better variancy from level fives. I think you and I both can agree in my videos that we have seen better variancy, better antler variety, tine variancy in five mediums. Not very many of them have the crab claws. It's usually the level sixes. So again, disappointing. We've seen a million like you. We'll see a million more. 120.82 from 171.81, round that up to 172 yards. Thank you for your sacrifice. Now, as we mourn the loss of what could have been at this once was zone, I guess we could call it, we are going to get a move on here and we're gonna check out a, a different zone, a completely, totally different zone here um, at a lake that we have never been to. I think we're gonna start venturing from lake to lake to lake to lake. I think that makes the most sense. So give me 10 seconds and I'll meet you on the riverbank. So on my way to our next destination to see what zones are at this lake, I did unlock this outlook, which showed me that there's an outpost nearby um, ready to unlock, which is perfect because it's right here next to this lake, kind of similar to how these two operate. And it's right in the middle of this lake and this little area here. So we're going to check both of those while we're here. Um, we're going to unlock the outpost. We're going to check out these two lakes here, and we're also going to take this outlook off the map, see if it also shows us where the next outpost is. Oh, oh shit. There's one. There's one. There's one. Is he the only one there? Well, considering I think there'd be more if if I'm within 300 yards, they'd spawn if there were more, right? I'm still going to wander around the entire lake uh, just to make sure that I've like not missed anything. But so far, he's the only one to show up here. I do want to I do want to shoot him. I do want to kill him. I want him dead and dead. He will be. Oh, I'm so glad I reloaded because I went to take that double shot as if it wasn't going to strike him right in the fucking, right in the liver or right in the stomach. It's going to go down right there. Yeah, baby. All right, let's take a look here. Please be big. Big numbers, big numbers. 190. <laughs> Oh my god. I really do believe that I used up all of my good luck at the very beginning when I shot not one, not two, but three level nines. 190.69 is roughly seven to eight points above the gold standard, um, which is disappointing considering when you look at his fucking rack, it's so long and tangly and thick. Look at all those tines. You think something as big as this constitutes scoring higher than 190, but alas, not all the glitters is fucking gold. So this is the shot that I took um, under the assumption that he was completely quartered to me. Turns out he was not. Um, but it did strike left lung. It almost, uh, went through into the right lung. I'm kind of disappointed it didn't. It should have because I'm using polymer tip bullets, but that's just my two cents, I guess. Oh, well, 190.69 from 210 yards. Thank you for your sacrifice. So I'm going to check this lake for any other zones, like I said, and I'm going to run by and get that outpost. Um, it's 937. Well, now it's 940. Um, that's perfect. So when I run by to get that outpost, I'm going to swap the time and take a look and see if there's anything at the next part of our journey, which is just up here. 
Aha. Red Deer. Whoa. Nice. Now, his max score is 207. He's not going to make 200, but his rack is big. 197. Okay. I can deal with this. Oh, there's... The pigs were just over here. Oh my god, they're so fucking tiny. They're so little. Oh my god, he's so little. I love him. I couldn't possibly do anything to hurt him or shoot him. He's just so baby. There's another one. Now he has a max of 213. This could be promising. I think he could barely touch 200 if he's if he's big enough. But the question is, is he big enough? Now I did set the time to 7 o'clock. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since there's no other zones over here so far, I'm going to make my way upstream just a little bit, um, just to see what's going on. And I'm far enough away, I think, to the point where I'm not going to, I'm not going to hurt these guys. Like, they're not going to care that I'm moving or notice that I'm, I've been here. Well, I mean, that's strange. Don't, 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 don't. God damn it. Well, I didn't find any red deer, but I found him. Got him. Oh, there's. Ooh. Great big hog. Great big hog. God, there's just animals all over the place, first of all. Second of all, that shot was gnarly. So in my time up here, I've seen feral pigs. I've seen sick of deer. I've seen red deer. I've seen turkey. And I've seen fucking, like, burrows, which means there's rabbits nearby. Whoa. There's another turkey. And no way, that, that's an albino. I'm positive that's an albino. Anyway, <laughs> I know I was going to hit that fucking white turkey. Anyway, 113.28. Um, I don't kill a lot of, uh, I don't kill a lot of feral pigs. I'm going to take him home with me just because he's, he's nice to look at. He's black gold. I don't know how rare that is. Um, I know previously in different pig species, black gold was something to behold, but that I might be thinking of something else. Um, liver and right lung. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll put him down. Where he was already moving, it's hard for me to, like, lead my shot like that. But I at least hit lung, and that's all that matters. 113.28 from 145 yards away. Thank you for your sacrifice. I'm gonna go pick up this turkey and the other turkey down there that I somehow manhandled. That's gonna be fucking nuts to look at. I can't wait to see the distance and the shot on that. You thought you could escape from me, didn't you, bitch? Ooh, 4.57. That's a very, 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 very close score. Wait. What did this actually impale? It says flesh. I know that. But it looks like it would have just, like, scratched him. Like, just barely skinned that side of his spine. That doesn't make any sense, really. I'm not gonna fucking pretend to be ungrateful just because the shot was weird. 457, diamonds 462. That's big. <laughs> That's big. That's a big turkey. <laughs> anyway, from 114 yards, thank you for your sacrifice. I won't be tax optimizing you, but I am thankful for you. I don't know, uh, I don't know the scoring for Sick of Deer, but that was a three. Judging on the fact that it was a level three, but it's also a class four animal, I don't know how big they get. All right, let's take a look here. Well, three very easies are silver, so I'm guessing they go up to five. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on it other than, wow, the 308 knocked him down with one lung. And it wasn't even a very, like, good shot. It was very far forward because I was trying to lead my shot because he was mid-trot. 115.58, 136.40 is gold, 198.74 is diamond. Well, we all learned something new today. Um, they get up to level 5, I'm assuming. I'm okay with that. <laughs> 115.58 from 80 yards away. Thank you for your sacrifice. Here's that turkey we shot. 410. Where'd I hit him? Again, I just barely, like, scraped the wing right there next to the spine, and that constituted as a shot. From 314 yards, I mean, I'm going to take that. That's an incredible shot on a turkey. Um, from 300 yards, those, those turkeys are small, very small. So, I'll, I'll fuck it. I'm happy. I'm tickled. Whatever. However, if you've seen one turkey in this variation, you've seen them all. So, we're not going to stay on him. 410 from 314.58 yards. Round that up. 
315, thank you for your sacrifice. Actually, no, I think we're getting way off track because it is already after eight o'clock and we have not killed a single red deer at this lake here. Um, maybe with the time that I've spent away from the lake. Is that another? That's another outpost. They're so close together. What's the point? An outpost has an outpost, I guess. But anyways, we spent so much time away from that area. I wonder if there's any more red deer that's come to the river. So I'm going to go down there. I'm going to take a look and we are finally going to make our decision <laughs> at that point. Well, from what I can tell, it's just the same three males that we encountered before. Um, 216, that's new. 179, um, that is new. And then there's just the one guy over here drinking, I'm positive. Well, if there were a zone on this side of the river, you know, I'd have found it by now. So I'm just gonna make do with what I got here and hope for the best. I can't take this guy because he's quartering to me, um, in a way that would not be advantageous. So I'm gonna have to take this guy right here first. Heart shot? Now, in terms of this guy, if I can get him to stop moving and go broadside, I will hit him. I guess I'll just take the one, the one lung. Okay, so the pressure here is overlapping. I don't think I can take that seven at that other, at that other side. Because if I do, I'm worried that I will do away with these zones. We'll come back and get him another time, I'm sure of it. Let's go pick up our other two red deer while we have a chance. Alright, let's double check and make sure our zones are still here. Cool. I have PTSD from ruining my own zones. Anyway, let's check out goddamn old big boy here. 204.98. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, finally. A level 7 that surpasses 200 points. But not by much. Not by much. But he still passes. I absolutely could have missed this heart shot. The bullet drop was way too hard. I was aiming up here and it went... Boop. That's scary to look at, actually. Very scary, because on a red deer this big, you don't want to do stuff like that. You want to make sure you at least hit the lungs safely. It's the easiest option to take down a red deer, especially if it could be potentially high scoring like this one. But nonetheless, it's a heart shot, just a heart shot from 280 yards. I couldn't do that again in my life if I sincerely tried. Anywho, 204.98 from 280 yards. Thank you for your sacrifice. Let's go find your other one. Little boys come back to play. Hey, let me speak to you in a language you'll understand. Oh, fuck off. All right, let's take a look here. 201. So that's level seven, number two. That just barely surpassed 200. I will take it. Now, this is the first level seven that I've seen in a really long time to have such gloriously mismatched antlers. That's kind of gorgeous <laughs> this guy is so ugly he's pretty i will take it this is the shot that i took and it was from 267 yards away so again severe bullet drop when you uh when you zero for 164 at that point so i definitely should have aimed a little higher but it still went right into the right lung i've explained it like this before at least once or twice it's like if you took your lung outside of your body and you fell on the sidewalk with it, right? You skimmed your lung. You scratched up your lung. You scuffed it. That's exactly what happened here. Tis but a flesh wound type shit. But I'm not going to complain because, I mean, 270 yards on a beautifully ugly red deer. I mean, I'm going to take whatever I can get. 201.56 from 270 yards. Thank you for your sacrifice. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's after 9 o'clock. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to teleport back to this uh, outpost here. And I'm going to make my way to the right. And uh, I'm going to see what's going on. So give me like 10 seconds. On my way to go see our next zone. And there's this guy. God, I need to be so careful. I need to be so careful. I need to be so careful. I'm, I'm fucking flabbergasted. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Whoa. Um, apparently they're still coming. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. That goat's gonna die, and it'll be because I killed him. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like, you can hit the link to the right of me here to subscribe, or you can follow me at all the links below and in the description for more content. 
You can also click the links to the left of me here to watch more Call of the Wild content or to be sent to a random video. So with that, thank you so much for being here. It was a pleasure and I'll see you next time.